Hi, my name is Mark Tuthill. My background is in martial arts. I've been training for approximately 30 years. Uh, started initially in karate and then now in jiu-jitsu. A lot of my abilities in karate and jiu-jitsu can correlate into other sports. One of the sports I was looking at that really made sense to me was football. The one thing that, that I was taught is called center line. Wherever your center line is facing, that's where your power is. And then what I do is I just drive on him on that angle. So I use my center line to control his center line. Every sport uses center line. In football, you're constantly fighting against people's center lines. They're coming at you, you're going at them. The object of this drill is I want to maintain touch to his body, and when he pushes my hand off, I want to let my elbow spring and my hand to, to whip right back. One of the things we do in jiu-jitsu is we always keep forward pressure on a person so that we can control them. If I lose my, my contact in here, that's when I'll lose him and he'll go past me. But I want to make sure that I'm going to stay loose at the elbow. If the person clears you out, if the defender clears you out, then my hands go right back to the inside. The more loose I am from the elbows to the hands, is I'm going to be able to check and keep my lines in from in here. One of the things that we always try to do in jiu-jitsu is try to control the elbows. Elbows control a lot of your center mass because the elbows are close to the body. By controlling the elbows, it's a little bit easier because of the fact when I control them, I usually get to a side position where my center line is going, not facing his center line. Everything will tie into center line control, elbow control. Okay, next position we're looking at is the defender is, is at a distance and he's coming after you with his hands out. His arms are already out. Now, if his arms are out in this position, again, what I'm looking at is trying to pass. I don't go to the elbow initially. I want to make sure that his arms are not going to get in my way. And if I can control his elbow, I'm going to control his body and I'm going to get past him a lot easier. I don't want to fight his strength. So I'm always working for angles. So whether I come up this way, when people are laying hands on you and you're trying to get past them, if you hit the wall, meaning you hit their strength, what you have to do sometimes is you have to disengage so that you can create a lighter touch. Disengagement is very, very vital in what we do in jiu-jitsu, and the same thing can be applied to football. If I can't get through this guy, you got to go around him. Disengagement will do that. It throws off their balance, helps us being able to manipulate their arms, find your angle, turn your center line, and you're gone. One of the things I do is called popping palms. Popping palms is a, basically it's a palm strike. Palm strike is a very devastating strike. I use it a lot in jiu-jitsu. I want to make sure that after I pop him and I break his balance, I want to drive on him. So as I'm in here, as I drive on him in this position. So we have a tendency to use our palms a lot. This action should break his balance a bit, get him on his heels a little bit, and then you just continue your drive through on him. If you understand that concept, when you hit somebody, you'll be able to maintain touch and control, and you'll be hard to be moved. What you want to look at is where are the weak points of the position? Well, how does a person hold the football? They, they have the position in here, they hold it this way, they hold it this way. If he's holding it tight in here and I punch it hard in the center, the tendency is that even with a good shot, he's still going to hang on to it. Down. And then when this comes out, it might drop into your arms, it might fall on the ground, but you know what? That's what you're shooting for. You're trying to, uh, trying to attack the football and strip it. Key point you want to remember is you want to understand center line control, elbow control. You want to also remember to stay loose and responsive. But remember, as people are trying to get around us, we want to make sure that we're in their way. You use this on ourselves, you're going to have power all the time. And that's what you want to remember.